Equality, inclusion and diversity, three things that should be central to any Republican and every Republican who wishes to build and live in a real republic. Together we took a leap of love in the marriage referendum in May 2015. We kept faith with our brothers and sisters, our aunties, our uncles, our friends, our neighbours, our political comrades and our political rivals. And as we descended on the polling stations and as all the home to vote airplanes landed, and I know that they meant so much to our LGBTQI community, um, all itching to tick the thaw vote on the voting paper, we did have the sense that we were making history and that RES was transforming that pain and exclusion that had been felt by that community. A pain and exclusion that saw too many leaving this island so that they could be who they were, look how they wanted to look and love who they wanted to love. Like many, I smile when I look back on those sunny days or when the Facebook memories pop up on Facebook and, you know, we, we, we did it. We, we did it together and we did it for each other. But it would be foolish to think that homophobia has vanished and we would be careless, especially in here as legislators, to think that we can take our eye off the ball. Because that same othering and that same sniggering and that suspicion and questioning is raising its ugly head right now when it comes to our trans community. And have we not learned you know, enough from the way we scapegoated people, the way we as a society barged into the lives of men, women and children, um, locking them up in laundries, our lunatic asylums as they were called at the time, and mother and baby institutions and industrial schools. We just couldn't leave people alone. We had to be at them all the time. I saw on social media the other day someone say that their father couldn't remember the word for transitioning, so he used the word transforming. And transforming is a pretty good way to word to, to describe Ireland's own journey, where we looked at the loathing we had hysterically for others, and the scapegoating and the finger pointing, and decided quietly that that's not us anymore, and that's not going to be us because all of us are us. Today, as a Kildare Sinn Féin TD, I'm especially proud to speak of the trail blazed by Kildare woman to whom so much is owed, Dr Lydia Foy. Dr Foy changed her gender and had to do it publicly, entering a very long and a very public battle for recognition. Without wishing to intrude um, on, on, her, on her life, I would imagine that it was a very difficult and a lonely journey, um, as it is for so many people who have followed in her footsteps. As a live and let live person, I used to think that whatever gender people identified at, um, as that it was really nobody's business except their own. But it is everybody's business to get out of their way. And it is everybody's business to allow them to be and to become the people that they are, without any talk of diminishing or denying anyone else. I'm loath to give them attention, but now a small cohort goes finger pointing again. And when it comes to our trans community, our trans community who want nothing from us other than to live their lives as the people they are, same as any of us. There has been talk, what I believe was manufactured and imported, like not Irish debate at all, this is imported debate on the national broadcaster on trans citizens, people whose lives and whose pain and acute sensitivities were reduced to a talking point on a talk show. I am all for debate, but the national broadcaster should not get involved in gossip or scaremongering. They should stick to the facts. And the fact is that the word woman is not being removed from anything. What has been proposed is to insert alongside women inclusive language. No diminution or denial of anything. There is simply an inclusion of inclusion itself, and women are going nowhere, just like the T in LGBTQI plus is going nowhere either. The vast and silent majority know that rights are rights. Human rights are never up for debate. So equality, inclusion, diversity, they don't just happen for themselves. We make them happen. And when we do, we protect them and we move on our fight to the next phase. So I was listening to the Minister's statements and I acknowledge that we, I welcome that he acknowledged that we need better sexual health services. We also need timelines for appropriate sex education from the Minister of Education. We need more training for public services providers so that no citizen in our country feels marginalised when accessing services. People with trans friends, children, siblings, colleagues, don't see or treat them as a category classification or uh, an item in a debate. We love and respect and protect and defend them for the people that they are, and that is citizens just like all of us. Shine. So Brothana Dev Gakdina Agastasulagan 
Gamay Marhul Agasfela Intak, the Green Glare, Aaron Saharan. Good morning.